Gold generation room? Yeah, so it's, it's pretty good. Anyway, I can see Gawking. Yeah, maybe. I might be open to it. I might be open to it. Trey Nam, thanks so much for the follow. How's it going, dude? Thanks for turning and stopping by. Appreciate the follow today, guys. Really do appreciate you supporting this, this stream. It's great to see some new faces in here. I hope you guys enjoy your stay, however long it may be. Yeah, there's a, there's a potential chance I might switch to uh, back to Taste of Blood in the future. Because, again, the, the scaling on Taste of Blood is much harder. I think for any matchup that you're looking to do short trades in, like LeBlanc, I think Taste of Blood is fantastic. But versus champions like, uh, for example, this mid lane Zedden, um, Yeah, like for example, this Zed, and I have to be really, really careful. I think we're just gonna go Demons for a second versus uh, Zed here. Nullify his skill pressure versus me. I think that's gonna be the game plan. Actually, no, I don't even know if I wanna do that. Let's just rush Hallbreaker. Yeah, let's just straight rush Hallbreaker here and call it a day. Best Garen Comfort Streamer, I am off. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. Really do. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you, Izzy Cat. Thank you, thank you. How you doing? How's it going? Hi, God. When playing versus York, do you go uh, in on him if he misses Q? Yeah, if he misses several abilities, you can uh, you can choose to go ahead and trade with him. The thing is, if he has the maiden now and he has his abilities up, you have to be extremely careful not to fight him. So, like, it's it's very selective fighting when it comes to York. And if York doesn't have the maiden, that's probably the best window to fight him. But if he has the maiden out or if he can detonate the maiden at full HP, you have to be extremely careful. But Water Walking gets you, gets you a lot of room kills. Yeah, I think Water Walking has a lot of insane value if you can get away with it on Garen. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little risky to take on Zed because... Um, Overgrowth has a lot of good value versus Zed to nullify his skill pressure and second wind, but um, I think if we play it safe this first outing, I think we should be okay. Alright, guys ready? Guys ready? Let's get this going. Game time. Next game going. Conqueror is dead. I gotta sit back because of Shaco anyway, so we're just gonna show. Wait, wait, I took armor this game? Wait. Oh, yeah, I did take armor this game. Okay, that's right, that's right. I took one adaptive. I took one adaptive with um one skilling HP. Yeah, we got it. Alright, that's fun. That's okay. That's fine. You know, I probably should have taken Eye Overgrowth with Demolish versus Zed. I think that might have been a lot better. This is going to be really tough to actually push for plates with Shaco being on the map. I'm going to water the middle lane for a Ghost Poro stack. Although I should, I should have probably put it here. A Ghost Poro is really good versus Stealth Champions because if you have the Ghost Poro out and Shaka walks over the Ghost Poro even when Stealth, the, the Ghost Poro will detonate and then you can automatically say to yourself, okay, the Ghost Poro went off. That means Shaka's behind me. So instead of warding like lanes, I probably just want to put Ghost Poros out in the middle lane and put them like in flank positions. That way if they trigger for some random reason, that means there's Shaka behind me. Oh, I think they're, yeah, they went for lane swap. We should have waited in river. It's my bad. I should have put a rumble top. Okay, I already misplayed him. I have to hard shift this wave before things happen.
It's gonna go for short traits. Yeah, I had a feeling Shaco was there. I gotta be careful about him just going back in. Okay, we got confirmation as to where he is. I think we got priority for, scu for Scuttle too. I probably just want to go rush Hullbreaker here. Is he back metal? Okay, right, let's go in back. I'm gonna pick up boots here. Really good, really, really good time to back. Battle well played. If I just rush Hullbreaker, I don't think Kale can really kill me in lane anymore. I'm not going to be able to stop her scaling, but she won't be able to pressure me either. So I think we just want to go Hullbreaker here. Just literally just call it a day, I think. We got a bit faster. And if I well, if I could just go ahead and push in Kale here with Emax, I can go ahead and do some roams until she hits level 6. I'm just really worried about them getting dove. You can go in. There we go! That's a Demacio baby right there! Nice, thumbs down too. Alright, awesome. We're played! Let's go Zerks here into potions. Want to increase my wave player? Got a dragon zoom puck. Thank you for walking over the ghost portal. Appreciate you. Dang, this rumble is popping off. Okay, we're chilling. Got a stack too. So if I have downtime, I'll spin randomly because if I hit Shaco, not only does my spin give off a different sound effect, but I also see a silhouette. I can detect if he's going to be flanking me. Okay, 
Yeah, so it's basically just a little safety protocol to put in place if you're not using your abilities. I think I'm just dead here, I think. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, it looks like Zed's having a hard time. He's going to be rushing uh, Hextrick here. Cool, let's get the phage. Bumping up our HP. Getting tankier, getting tankier. Spin the hit clown, yep, exactly. Oh no. Oh no. We went a little bit too deep, guys. A little bit too deep. Hurlbun's down, right? I can go for the Ellen. Ah, uh, that's super unfortunate. Yeah, that's unlucky. Barely, barely. Barely, barely. Yeah. If I took Lethality there, I probably could have killed her. Or if I had Ignite. Actually, I had Ignite there. Yeah, that's a shame. Almost had the combo there. Careful, my other one's down, dudes. Oh, dang, we got her. That's actually pretty insane. I mean, Shackle, Shackle's a man. Shackle's a very manly man. I'm sorry, guys. Shackle's pronouns are he, him, they. Or it. I don't even know. Okay, guys, close the hole breaker. Goes to Z hold breaker. Oh, that's not good. The Hex Drinker is turning the Z matchup around. That's not good. Hex Drinker OP. Hex Drinker OP. He's not gonna go for no plate, right? He is! Oh my god. It's actually pretty funny that I get away with that. Got him! Got the stack too! Feels good, man. Alright, well, at this point... I could probably just play for this tower and just take it. He's still dead, so we just get it. Feels good, man. Give me that Mega Man X4. My first ever PlayStation game, guys, by the way. Let's 
going to wait for the dagger here. Get an extra spin. Alright, now I get to stay in the sideline. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he lived with the Silver Rage Bay. It sucks. Almost got him there, too. I need to bring to ultimate. Could have clean cut killed that. Well, the cool part is we got a freeze, so... X4 was good. Yeah, X X4 was one of the best ones. The voice acting was a little, uh, meme, but it's okay. Gameplay was super solid. Late, uh, 7331S. Thanks so much for the seven. Hi. Hello. Okay, cool. we're getting closer to uh, Trinity Force. I'm so tempted to engage on him here. Gotta wait like 10 seconds. Oh, uh, dang, he knows because of the whole Becker minion. It's a supersonic flight, gotta keep it going. Oh, why did I just do that? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, I got track on before seeing. There's two pushing top. That's interesting. Why is it taking tower shots? Oh, 
Spellbreaker is a balanced item. Yep. From the makers of Camille, Riot Games LTD presents to you Holebreaker. Oh god. Oh. Well, alright, that's that's the end of my run, guys. <laughs> I pushed one wave too uh, far. Dang. Give him the 1k. That's pretty rough. This didn't even get the tower, right? That was the real play. Alright. Well, I'm playing pretty good today. Playing pretty, pretty good today. Let's see if we can keep it up. I think the Kale matchup is so much more tolerable mid lane because at least you can push her in your realm compared to top where it's much more difficult to do that because of where you're operating geographically in the map. Oh, they shouldn't be fighting without me. Hang on, guys. Hang on. I'm on more. Oh, dang, they got the objective on you. Wait, she's still at ultimate? That's crazy. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, she's still at ultimate. That's actually really, really crazy, guys. Check it out. What's this, that build? Uh, Cleaver? Hex Drinker. Yeah, he's really behind. Like, really behind. Doesn't even have his mythic yet. Alright, probably just want to go back to pushing. We're gonna go uh, Mortal Miner next item. If the toll spins. Doing pretty good. Gotta be really careful. The likes of Tristana. Okay, well, Smite's down. be a clone. What's the next cannon? Okay, well, I got this ultimate down. I can heal back up here. I'm distracting them, that's okay. I should have kept chasing. She moves so fast. What the heck? We just got to these boots. Alright, we got another dragon up in 15, but we get the Baron. It's good to see that my bounty's dead. I got Shaco down here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think we just lose him there. Yeah, the blast cone was not the right detonation. Alright, Kael's confined to top. 
Infernal map is so difficult to deal with. So many blast guns everywhere. Oh my god. Zone at the Z in here. I bet I could fight him. I bet I could do it. All depends if she backed. Okay, what next time what next I'm doing on a build versus Kale? I could go on uh, Maw Mount Mortis. Actually, that'd be probably really valuable. Let's go Maw. She's the most threatening. So, I think that'd be good. I'm on my way down middle. Guys, we should be a hole breaker. Just push bottom. It's honestly how you play it. Okay, well, we're losing hole breaker. The turtling really well. We should be formatting this differently. Damage against at this hour. Playing for Saul is how we're gonna probably end this game, I think. Okay. How'd they get Sivir? I gotta get them separated somehow. It's not a good idea. I just wanted to detonate that for money. I knew it wasn't the real Shaco, but I just wanted money. It's not a threat to me because I have too much MR. Yeah, I think Ma'll be really good. I could have flashed for that kill, but I don't think it's appropriate. Because I don't have any follow up if I even get that kill, so. Yeah, we got Hex Trigger now, so that's pretty decent, right? Be able to take on Gale maybe now. Uh, Rumble. Rumble, I have Hex Trigger. This is, I have Hole Breaker. This is not the way to play it. I mean, could it, could it that have been bottom? I think that could have been bottom. Dang, she's close to 16. We gotta be really careful. Okay, get rid of the clone. I need to heal back up and, and start pushing. This is the value of Garen's spell pushing. He can automatically enter back into lane um, and be able to just push mid waves. Okay, a little force there. An enemy has been 
Uh, I'm back at full HP, so Zed's no threat to me whatsoever. Just want to claim my bounty, and we'll go ahead and move on. Take that counter matchup! Yep, yeah, awesome. Okay, outstanding. Yeah, good job here, something I think. Um, I don't know why I warded there, because we don't have any teleports, but we do get another dragon. Uh, and that will be our final dragon for soul, and I think with the infernal soul, I think that we pretty much win. So it feels good, ma'am. Right, let's get our maw. I want to finish my build Cleaver, I think. Oh, dang. Mock gives 20% uh, ability haste. That's pretty, that's pretty OP. I'll have to keep that in mind in the future. I forgot they added that. Alright, close to 400 attack damage. We do so much. I gotta stop that cannon from being taken. I think I can do it in time. Dang. Okay! Getting Baron buff soon, right? Oh no, they reset the Baron. That's fine though. I'll have to go back to base, because if they don't, I proceed to end the game. Okay. Alright, well, Zed Kill matchup done, right? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Demacia.